Yeah, I will have the word which came when my sister was speaking. I will, I will tell you this story. This story in the Bible is the story of Jonah. You know, Jonah, God sent him to preach the good news to the Nive. And, you know, in his mind, <laughs> in his mind, he wanted to run away. <laughs> then, <laughs> then, in the boat, then God took him to the destination. My story, this story is very, it's a funny story, but I would like to tell you what happened and what I always believe in this country. You know, when your Jonah priest, all the entire city repented. Amen? Amen. Yeah, in Canada, I've met many men of God. <laughs> sorry, because, sorry, because I see how the faithful people are so weak in this country. You know, if you live with me, you're going to be surprised. Ask Chris I have a strange faith. <laughs> you know, my faith is so strange, powerful. And, you know, I'll tell you tonight, you know, that seed of the need were saved. All the seed, all the place, all people were saved. Many men of God don't believe that Canada would be saved. <laughs> I've seen people of men traveling, go to Africa to see the anointing. But they leave God in Canada. <laughs> oh man, God is here. Amen. 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 God is in Canada. Amen. Amen. It's so funny, you know. God is in Canada. My Bible is telling me when two people, three or four, are praying together. Then God is a man among us. Amen. Amen. Do you believe in that? Yes. Do you believe that in this room tonight? Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other story is, comes from the book of 2 Kings. Are we the pastor of the church? Yes, thank you. You guys have good English than mine. You're going to read from the book of 2 Kings. From Second Kings chapter seven, mm -hmm. uh, from three up to seven. To seven. Mm -hmm. Now there were four men with leprosy at the entrance of the city gate. Mm -hmm. They said to each other, "Why stay here until we die? Mm -hmm. If we say we will go into the city, the famine is there, and we will die. Mm -hmm. And if we stay here, we will die. Mm -hmm. So let's go over to the camp of the Arame Arameans and surrender." If they spare us, we live. If they kill us, then we die. At dusk, they got up and went to the camp of the Arameans. When they reached the edge of the camp, not a man was there, for the Lord had caused the Arameans to hear the sound of Uwe. The sound of the chariots and horses and the great army, so that they said to one another, Look, the king of Israel has hired the Hittite and the Egyptian kings to attack us. So they got up and fled in the dusk and abandoned their tents and their horses and donkeys. They left the camp as it was and ran for their lives. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. That is good! Hallelujah. That is good! Hallelujah. Man, that is so powerful. You know, if you understood what the Bible says, when well, these guys they decided to go to the enemy's camp, they were walking, amen? And what God did, God produced the sound from their feet. Amen. Hmm? 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 Amen. Amen. Because many people tonight, I know, some of us tonight, they don't believe in God. They don't trust God. I want to show how God, through the sound of the feet, not by speaking, not by reports, just the sound of the feet hmm, produce a huge sound in the enemy fleet. Amen. 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 That the God, the God is being tonight. It's so easy to God. It takes anything for karma to get saved. Amen. Amen. Are you getting the point? Yeah. I don't know how it will happen. 
I can't tell. I believe Canada shall be saved. Because yes. yes. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that's why people go to Africa to see what's going on there. They are right. Things are happening in Africa. You know, a person preached to me who saw the seed in my heart was a young kid, small kid. He was like four, five years preaching to me. <laughs> and today I'm a preacher. I've, win, I've won, God used me to win. I remember that means we baptized almost, almost 500, almost more than 3,000 saved. Wow. In Canada. I've seen some people all know them all over. Canada, I just, oh, I saw you on TV, I saw you. And I said, we're going to pray for you guys. <coughs> we, we have come to the king of this country. That's our mission. Awesome. Call us what you want, but we know our mission in this country. <coughs> we're going to pray. Amen. Amen. My faith is, you know my faith, when I preach to a person, I believe that no matter how long it's going to take, you come to the Lord. Amen. 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 I don't care. I've asked my God when I open my mind and speak, my mouth and speak. I don't care, but I believe by my faith, by the faith in God, that person will get saved. Because I don't know when. I was baptized and I came to save the Lord after many, many years. That's what happens. Because the word of God is a seed. It has to die. It's a long process. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Other people, they just go on fire today. Woo -woo. <laughs> yeah. You know, these two young men we have here, you know, I've met them, these, these pioneers. You know, they have a very huge testimony. They've been in drugs, anything. But today, they are on fire. These young two men here, these. They are on fire. They're going to pray for you. They are very dangerous guys. <laughs> we have been training them. Because we, our mission is to equip and train young men. Especially Africa, you say, my sister. That's why last time, because I was in Brooks, we in the church where, they, where I got them. You know, I've done two months there. And this, this moment, guy came one day to visit the sister of our church. And I remember a guy, another guy, African guy. We, he is a, a man of God. We told those guys that, you know, Africans, most of them, yeah, of course, we came here, people change. Young men like them, they are hooked of drugs and everything. You know. This guy, they have huge this one. They have done everything. But we come from Africa of a sea of the world. That's why I told you, my, my father, the guy told me that his father was a preacher. <coughs> yeah, there's a huge change. But I thank God and Crispin, when we learned this country, we never backslide. We have been flying, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Eagles. Eagles. We have been flying. Our faith is dangerous. Stay with us one week, your life is going to be something else. Yeah. Yeah. We have been serious with God. We have seen the mighty heart of God. I've seen a man in this country. 10 years and a half in wheelchair, in my eyes, the pastor, he's walking. Amen. Yeah. In Canada, not in, in, in Africa. Yeah. In Canada. In Canada. He's alive. If you invite him, you're going to come and preach here. We're going to pray. I don't take your time. I know I'm blessing the people of God. I know I'm, we are releasing the anointing. You know what happens? You know, the time we enter this place, what I believe, even bless George. The anointings, you know, is filling the sea of joy. Praise joy. That's what I believe. Amen. When a man of God comes in seal, there's something happens. That's what I believe. There's healing. People are gonna come to the Lord. Revival are gonna come. Joy, you know. I'm a joyful guy, you know. I release the anointing of joy. You have seen me jumping in. That's how I am. <coughs> I release. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Pastor Crispin, come over. You're going to leave the prayers. 